but but I have a cousin who stays in your city. Oh, uh, he's okay. a doctor. Uh, he and uh, but he's a cosmetic person, hair okay. transplant okay. person. Yeah. You look really good when you're getting sick. <laughs> 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 Kim, we've been having a spike too, and I guess we might go back to stage because I know we're supposed to go up to stage three, I think, in North Carolina. Well, okay, so I got a question to ask you because you weren't on, but maybe you were listening, so you might be able to cheat. But we announced this big, big spike last week. Can you think of anything that occurred two weeks prior to that that would have caused the spike? Two weeks prior. Uh, let's see, there was the. Uh, NASCAR races that were going on that could have done something with the spike. Oh, the protest? Maybe. Protest. Yes. We, I'm we thinking NASCAR and protest are the things that come to my mind. Yeah, but not so much the protest, but it was the uh, presidential rally. Oh, yes, that's true. And there's a little lag time between the event and the cases being noticed and reported and recorded. So, you know, we because we have such a short attention span in the United States, we don't always put the two and two together. And so Kimberly has provided us with that information, which is um, sounding quite true to me. I just put time, date, event and facts together. That's all I do. I don't um, I don't put together anything else. I, I mean, a lot of people accuse me of lying and making up stuff, but they don't know me well enough to know that I spent a lifetime uh, as a female engineer and anything I put down in a boardroom or in the uh, research room, I had to back everything up with so Double. much. Yeah. Yes. You had to be twice as, twice as accurate as the male. I had to be f four times accurate. My boss told me this. He told me that I was the smartest engineer. And in fact, it got to the point that when I did bring him something to sign off on, he never even read it anymore because he said he didn't have to because he knew he trained me, trained me to make sure I could support it four times more than anybody else. But here's what's funny. One day I scared a mess out of him. I made, you know, I handed things off to him and he signed them off real quick, right? Boom, boom, boom. And I go, oh, thank you very much for my Ferrari. And <laughs> <laughs> but I have a question for the panel, and Ankit and Rakesh cannot participate. Do you know what the word Satya means? Sure. S-A-T-Y-A. I don't know. Uh, what is, how is it spelled? S-A-T-Y-A. Oh, I've heard that word, but I can't remember what it means, but I have seen that word and heard that word. I've got a couple of friends that are, well, uh, the English translation Indian, I can't remember the English translation would be non lying. And so Kimberly, you have the presence of Satya in you and you are a non liar. Well, thank you. But a lot of people would argue that right now, but I'm not going to take anything they say. My dad one time told me to walk like a duck, let everything people say to me like that wash off of me. So, well, Kimberly, you know what I say? Don't let the praise go to your head and don't let the criticism go to your heart. Exactly. That is the best advice for any, any student graduating. I need to put that on my post line of um, for future for forever future references because that that would save probably most young people going into life a lot of grief. It really would. So anyway, I want to share something with you guys. Somebody uh, texted me this morning and asked me to find, and it took me. I'll just take a moment to scroll through because they asked me if they could have this today for something that they're doing, but. I want to share this with you guys. It, it, I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to share it with you because they thought it was dead on and, and they would get their point across today. So here we go. If she says she shouldn't do it, I want it. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. I saw that. Says, I'm not kidding. I'm young. I don't need to self-isolate. Now, this guy teaches children, okay? So... <laughs> I am here to follow you to grandma's house. And he just thought that that is just dead on that, I guess, yeah. point that he wants to make. And, um, you know, and, and so someone else brought up another one that uh, we were talking about. Was it you, Jim? Another cartoon? 
Oh, you mean about the bank robbery? Or? Yeah, that one. I want to pull that one up. Yeah. Um, because I think we're living in a time when we need to be a little bit funny now. Um, serious, but... Laughter is the best medicine. Oh, yeah. In, in a way to laugh about it, because if we don't, we're going to make ourselves sick. Um, but I also think that I, I am to the point that I'm, I'm done with trying to convince people to do the right thing. I will provide information that we have knowledge that I actually get from the national geographic and, um, you know, white papers from, um, my, my favorite is St. John Hopkins. And, um, because I, I decided I wasn't going to trust anything CDC or who was, uh, saying, and this was before Trump was trying to fire them, but it's because they held meetings admitting that they withheld this information from us and uh, under classified. And to me that they are a health organization and nothing should be withheld as classified, nothing. They are not there to gain a profit for intellectual property. They are not there for war. They are there for our health. And so nothing should be contained as classified. And so I've de de decided not to trust anything that they say or anything that who says that I will trust the universities because they're the ones finding the answers. And the reason why I say that is, is I spoke with someone yesterday and I can't disclose what they just found. Oh my God. I uh, want to, and it's not that it's classified. It's just that it's not my place yes, to say it. I it, understand. Will come out, it will come out in a paper, but it's phenomenal. It, it, it is going to change everything that we're doing today. Okay. If I guess it, will you tell me I, I'm right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding you. <laughs> yeah, okay, if you're right, if you guess it. <laughs> we went the back thing. Thing. Not quite. Not quite. Go ahead, so Angel. Uh, yeah, so, so what I wanted to say that uh, when you ask that word uh, Satya, so Satya is uh, something else and uh, you were meaning to say Satya. So the pronunciation is a little different. Okay, and my satya, pronunciation was wrong. Yeah. Okay. I have because, a, a stupid tongue. And, and, and when you talk about Satya, so I'll, I'll show you what is Satya. And then I think Rakesh, we must uh, share uh, the story behind that. But that is what Satya is. Can you see this? Yep. Yes. So this we use it in our uh, I mean, uh, prayers. And uh, whenever we do any kind of festivals or anything like that, uh, uh, we uh, create this Satya uh, while we do puja at our home and at our uh, uh, temples as well. And uh, we use a lot of different colors to make uh, rangoli. Can you see the rangolis on the left side? So these yeah. are colors. Basically. These are mud uh, with different colors. And people create a lot of rangolis at home. See this one. So this part is also known as Satya. That is good direction, but I think uh, more details will be shared by Rakesh. Uh, I, I thought that was the swastika. Uh, I, I did too. Yeah. I thought that the was and Satya, they're, they're the same thing. I mean, yeah. it depends on, I mean, you are north or south, basically. Yeah. So, you know, so, um, yeah. so, so what is the word non-lying? Non how do you pronounce the word non-lying? So satya. 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 Satya is the truth. We have a prayer uh, which is like this. Uh, asat, asat means untruth. Asatu ma sat gameya, which means from untruth, let truth arise. Truth. It is one of our prayers, one of the lines. And so don't worry about, you know, the, the politicians who lie. Uh, uh, you know, they, they, they make sure that they, uh, you know, see what happened to Mr. Bolsonaro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it is, it is uh, you know, out of, uh, uh, just like the lotus comes from, you know, a rather murky pond. Uh, and it's so beautiful and pristine. Uh, similarly, truth will come out of uh, untruth, and um, we, you know, yeah. to be despondent. Thus, untruth comes out of fear. Fear is a survival instinct. So expect that. Don't don't be surprised. Expect that. Fear can be fear of life, losing your life. Fear can be fear of losing wealth. Hello. Alexander and, uh, and, and the rest of the panel. So, I just came up with this, uh, so anyone, else, anyone else can figure out what, what it is? I can't tell you guys. Yeah, okay. 
let me let me guess. It's not a vaccine. Um, is not it a, a treatment? Is it a treatment? Not quite. Not quite a treatment. Not a vaccine. A health, immune system boost. Nope. Okay. Not a treatment. Not a vaccine. Not a boost of your immune system. Um, a cough How does it travel? How does it travel? Air, aerosol, airborne. Airborne, yeah. Airborne and aerosol. Okay. The, a new mask. The WHO has has announced that. Yes. Yeah, they announced it. They announced that, yeah. announced that it's airborne. Yes. All of that's known, right? But right. so when you do this, what are some things you can do with this? Breath. Oh. Uh, I'm horrible at doing this thing because I just want to write it on the board. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. You would have to be Play a good charades. Play with us. Act it out. <laughs> so, um, so, so, what are some of the things that we need to be doing during a pandemic? Very oh, Wear a oh, mask. It's something, a lozenge you put in your mouth that prevents anything. No. Nope. That would, that's actually brilliant, actually. I've, I've been thinking about that um, because uh, did you hear about the teacher who made the, the lozen into a gummy so that kids would take it? Did you ever read that story? No, How, I did not. It was, the gummy medicines that you see were actually invented by a teacher uh, uh, so that kids would take their medicine. Uh, yeah, right? How brilliant was yeah. that? <laughs> invention is the mother of necessity is the mother of invention so i like to think that i invented peanut butter to give medicine to my dog but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but i just heard my neighbor say she was doing the same thing I'm like Don't it's a sure fire <laughs> thing yeah, no question but, but um but no uh but it, so anyway it's going to come out and by by monday you'll hear about all okay. of it but all right. anyway um it's very very exciting um, it will revolutionize the way we are dealing with this pandemic. Um, I wish that we're out today. Um, yes, I could tell. <laughs> uh, well, because it, it, um, it's going to emphasize something that Nick has said from the very beginning of the very of the show, and um, and it's not that it's proving him right. It's the fact that this needs to be done, and um, that it's going to be done in a way that we hadn't thought to do it. And um, and it, it emphasizes the need and sim simplicity that this can be done. And all it took was um, a very smart person who said, why not? And a bunch of students who said, let's do it. So um, that's great. That's so exciting. Yeah. I can't wait till Monday. I'm not the smart person who said, why not? I, I've so, got one more last guess. Did you ever see Get Smart, the TV show? Oh, Love, love, love it. I saw the movie too. The cone of silence. <laughs> they could dro drop the cone of silence over you. So there my are. last guess yeah. is that there's a cone. <laughs> now we've got the Darth Vader suit manufacturing. It's coming out. <laughs> That's That was my idea, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. Just manufacture these by the bulk. But I'll be talking a certain way, you know. Yeah. You know, have you seen the masks that are clear? Yeah, so I saw one of those at a restaurant recently. Every, everybody complains about these and you can't breathe in these. Can you imagine having plastic over you? At least this is, you know, material that I can breathe through. But these are the same people who probably complain, I can't breathe, and they're wearing a plastic yeah. over yeah. their mouth. I'm like, my only problem with this, and, and Mark, you might know this, it fogs up my glasses. Yeah. Okay, so there, there's an article. All right. I, and I can deal with that. So I, I followed the article I read, it said made in Japanese. I'll see if I can find it and repost it. But you fold the mask a certain way when you put your glasses here and it won't fog your glasses. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the masks that we have have got a sort of a, a iron, iron thing, a rod like yeah. thing, a wire. So which you yeah, I have one of those. Yes. yes. You, you slightly, slightly bend it. Slightly fold it and then put it on. And then for whatever reason, the breath that goes up goes into that pocket and it doesn't go into your glasses. glasses it, works. Huh? it works. 
I was always getting frustrated over the same thing. And um, and I did. I went and I, I followed the instructions. It was in Japanese, but I followed the instructions. I'm like, the Japanese have got to know. They've been doing this for 100 years. So <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. It makes, it makes a lot of sense. It takes practice of folding and putting it under your glasses. I didn't get it right the first time. The so, little fiber ones that, that you can just squeeze them and they hold shape and they work very well too. But yeah. the, these aren't the surgical masks that they don't have. Hey, Jim, it's Mark. I've got a crazy question to ask you and some of y'all will get a kick out of this. Well, actually I got a crazy question and then something that I think that you should challenge a world leader to. But the crazy question is this. Um, I was thinking about expressions. Don't ask me why, but I was thinking about expressions and how we oftentimes have these great expressions. And there's an expression that people use all the time that as I thought about it, makes absolutely no sense. And it actually involves a sport that Ankit likes, but the expression makes absolutely no sense. What sport oh. does Ankit really like? Cricket. Cricket. And the expression in, in throughout America is, you know, they it, it's basically like, um, you ask somebody what, what their response was, and the response is, it was like crickets, which means that there was no response or you didn't hear anything. But if anybody knows anything about crickets, crickets make, make a lot of noise. So the <laughs> crickets make no sense. 